Hi guys, we're playing Tropic 06, and I know there is going to be much rejoicing about this, and we're going to be playing the uh, the new DLC. Came out a few weeks ago. We're going to be playing the DLC, The Llama of Wall Street. Love the sense of humor in this game. Uh, and this is going to be really seriously cool. Uh, let's jump in and start playing straight away. Can't you believe there was once a time when nobody knew about Tropico Presidente? Today, the Tropico brand is uh, so scorching, you could use it to sear your initials into cattle hide. Do you remember where this all began? That beautiful island so bursting with possibilities and potential, just like my dream. An acorn of a dream from which mighty commercial branding grew. And to think, the global economic powerhouse that is the tropical brand all began with something as so simple, so innocent as that little big press doll. So yeah, we're going to be making dolls, it sounds like at the beginning. Presidente, I have a dream, a beautiful and lucrative dream. Uh, no, nothing to do with pink armadillos this time. I assure you, this is all about you. Well, it doesn't get better than starting with pink armadillos. Right, we um, we have to build a logging camp, have a toy workshop and produce toys. Time is precious, Presidente. Especially your time, as you are the busy leader of a nation, and not just a child, playing in a sandbox. How very dare you. I love playing in sandboxes. Cool. Uh, we need to uh, set up our, our constitution. We're going to go with all citizens vote and armed militia. Hooray. And instantly, I've got to pause the game, because we're going to do a whole load of setup stuff which um, is going to give us a staggering economy. Oh yeah, it's going to be blooming awesome. Now, you need to like uh, take a look at your starting setup. It's very easy to look at it and think, oh, I've got, I've got a nice farm going on over there. I've got, I've got some cattle ranches. That, that's all good. No, it, take a look at this farm, for example. This plantation, it's a banana plantation. Look at the efficiency, 58%. It's rubbish, right? Plus, if you're working with uh, monoculture, then your the the fertility. If we go to the efficiency, you can see the fertility. This fertility number is going to drop over time, right? And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And it's already rubbish. So the first thing we're going to do is say right, we're going to demolish that, right? And um, now we've got a couple of cattle ranches over here. And to be honest, these are not too bad, but they're kind of in the wrong place. I don't want them over here. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. I'm going to demolish that, and now I'm going to demolish that. All right, good. So we'll, we'll be getting rid of all of that nonsense and, and basically starting again from scratch. So uh, what are we going to do first? Um, well, I think we're going to. I think we're going to set up. Um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to set up like a super plantation. The 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 power of plantations. So I've already um, I've already kind of worked out uh, in this area how to lay out my fields to get like maximum efficiency. So I've just taken this road, but from the end of this road, just come down two and then come straight across, right, like as far as it'll go, right, cool. And then I'm gonna get a plantation going, so not industry, here we go, plantation. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start off with pineapple, right? So come down two, put a road across, then get a plantation, pineapple, and you want to position this, like so it's just in the maximum fertile area, right? And that kind of positions everything. So we'll plot that in, hold down the shift key so that you can place another plantation. Then we're going to have a rotation of pineapple, corn, and bananas, the first three. So pineapple, uh, then corn, and you'll see that's, that's all green, perfect. And then bananas. Oh, and that's green as well. So we're getting maximum fertility. Then we want to go back to pineapple. Okay, not quite 100%, but pretty darn close. Banana and then corn. Oh, and that's 100%. And then uh, banana. Revolutionized warfare. Yet Tropico still has no air force. An official power statement says, learn to fly one, then we will get planes. <laughs> I love it. A banana. Oh, look, that's 100%. So banana can go in there. So, we, uh, so we're back to pineapple again. Pineapple. Now, this one is not so good, but I'm still going to put it in. Pineapple. And then corn. Oh, yep. Yeah. Almost 100%, not quite. All right, cool. 
Then we come back over this side. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of that actually. And then we're going to put in some more plantations. This time we're going to do a rotation of cotton, sugar and tobacco. So, cotton. Oh, look at that. 100%. So, cotton. Oh, I, was holding, I didn't hold the shit key there. My bad. Um, cotton, sugar. Oh, look. 100%. Cotton, sugar. Move over a bit. And tobacco. Oh, 100% on the tobacco. Perfect. And then we go back to cotton again. Oh, look. 100%. Cotton, sugar, oh, 100%, and tobacco, yes. Did it take me a bit of a bit of time to work out what was the best layout? Yeah, it did. Um, this is not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Tobacco, there we want sugar again. Oh, that's 100%. Sugar, and, uh, no, hang on, was it? That was cotton, sugar, tobacco. That one should have been um, cotton. Actually, no, that should have been cotton, really, but... Um, if we look at cotton, so like uh, plantation cotton, um, cotton's not so good there, and I can't fit another one on the end, and I want some extra sugar, so I'm going to put sugar in there. And then we go up to this side, and we're going to put in some more. What do I want? I want, um, uh, yeah, plantations again. And now we're going to, so we've done the first six, so we, did, we just did... Well, we, we did those three, then we did sugar, tobacco, cotton. So we've got cocoa, coffee, and rubber left. Right, we are going to go with, we're going to go cocoa, coffee, rubber. I'm going to I'm going to actually start with rubber and place the rubber there. Uh, but uh, you see how it's missing one, like one up here in this top corner? I'm just going to move that over one so that we get it to like close to 100%. So we'll pop that one in. So I've rubber there. Um, so what, what was the rotation? Co uh, cocoa coffee rubber. So we'll have cocoa is going to be over there. Cocoa coffee. So we'll do coffee next. So coffee's going to go there. Now you might go, well, that's going to be rubbish. Ah, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I promise. Uh, that one's going to go in uh, coffee and then rubber. This one, I'm going to rotate around and just plug it in there. And again, you're going to say, no, 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 don't be, no that's bad. No, wait, wait, it'll be fine. Right. That one goes in there. So, what, what was it? Um, um, to be cocoa, coffee, rubber. I'm gonna have to chase those. Cocoa, it should be cocoa, coffee, rubber. Yeah, that should be rubber. So, uh, cocoa, cocoa's gonna go there. It picks up most of this green bit here. Cocoa, and then coffee. And it picks up most of this dark green here, which is nice. Cocoa, coffee, and rubber picks up this nice bit here. And then cocoa, nice. And coffee, we can put a coffee on the end there if we want. Boom, all right, cool. Right, are we done? No, not quite. I I want loads of sugar, because we're gonna do a big, uh, big rum industry, um, certainly to, to kick us off. So I'm gonna put some down here. Now you see this blue circle? This blue circle is kind of important because that's the um, that's the circle of influence for uh, um, uh, for, for multiculture, which is uh, which is the important. So we want it to be picking up as many of these as possible. So I'm going to put sugar. Which way? Which end am I going to start? Uh, you know, I might start down this end. So if I actually no, I want them round that way because the the circle emanates from this building part. So if I was to flip it around that way, you see how it takes it further away from these buildings up here? If I was to put that in, I'm only picking up two buildings. Whereas if I put it around that way, I can pick up four buildings. Maybe even five. Right, so yeah, we'll start at this end. And we'll just pick up as much of the good stuff as we can. So one there. We need to leave a space for a road. One there. One there. Oh, can I get one more in? Yes, I can. Boom, all right. That is quite a lot of, power, uh, of plantations. Now, plantations, will plantations make you money? No, no. They're, if you sell the raw goods that are produced, yeah, you're gonna really struggle. But that's where industry comes in because we're gonna be turning these raw resources into um, processed goods. And that is gonna make us a lot of money. Now, I need a road going down here. 
So I'll run that to the end there and then run that up to there. And then I also want a row that's going to come up there to there and then along here like that. And I'm going to come to the, yeah, I'm going to come to the end and come down there as well because why not? And I might even put a road down there. Am I? Yeah, I am. Why not? Do I want to ride across the bottom? I haven't thought about it, but I think I think I probably do. So I'm going to put a road along the bottom there. We'll bring that up there. And then we'll put in the little side roads going down like that. Awesome bloomin' sauce. Okay, we've spent about 50,000 setting that up. Uh, are we finished? Uh, no, we're not quite finished. Now you're going to say, hang on a second, you've got to put a road up to that one. Eh, actually, no, I don't. Because um, this one and this one we're not actually going to use. They're, they're effectively going to be turned off because they're not efficient enough. So there's no point having them having them working. But this is going to bring in plenty of um, tobacco, cotton, um, uh, corn, pineapples, bananas, loads of good stuff, and absolutely tons of sugar. Sugar's what we want. All right, over here, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to demolish this dock because to be honest, it's in a kind of an annoying place. So, and don't be afraid to get rid of stuff. Right, um, oh, I can't demolish that because it's the last It's the last building of its type. So what I have to do is I have to get, um, where are we? I have to get a uh, dock. Now, I'm gonna put this dock in there. And I'm going to quick build that. Let that get built. Well, and then we'll demolish this one. Demolish that, please. Again, let it run and get demolished. And all this other stuff's going to get demolished as well, which is good. There we go. Now we have to wait for this to like completely go away before we can put other stuff in. There we go, it fades away. And with a bit of luck, now we should be able to put stuff in. Let's pause the game again. Right, we're going to grab Doc and I'm gonna have another dock there and another dock there. Cool. Then we're gonna grab a road and have a nice road. Uh, let's see, running across there, hooking up these docks like that. Awesome, lemon and sauce. Uh, now, can I run, run this road around the corner? Yeah, I can. You know what, let's run the road around there and hook it up to there. All right, sweet. Now, Teamsters, because I'm gonna be producing loads of stuff, I'm gonna need loads of Teamsters. So, yeah. Now, where am I gonna put my industry? I think what I'm gonna do, I've been, I've been trying to think of like where I want to have my town and where I wanna have my industry. Now, the game sets you up to have your town over here, which is not really ideal. Ideally, we want our town like over here so that people because people have got to walk to work Right, they walk to work They walk home and then they also have to go to church and they have to go to the doctors, right? There's a clinic There's a church, but we don't want them like if I was to put the houses over here We wouldn't want them like coming out of their house saying oh, I've got to go to church walk all the way over here go to church go home and then say oh now I'm gonna to go to work and then they, they've got a short walk to work but we've defeated the object because they've had to walk all the way over here and back which is not a good thing so I think I think we're gonna to have to move all of this stuff over here which is a damn shame because they've put in like a botanical garden we've got the clinic we've got a grocery we've got a church it's all good stuff but really doesn't help us and we've got a load of housing over here and, and that doesn't help us either the other thing is moving stuff around requires teamsters and we've got a couple of teamsters over here we're going to be producing loads and loads of stuff so we're going to need lots of teamsters now where are we going to put the teamsters well the teamsters are going to be running mainly between the plantations and whatever wherever we put our industry and the docks so it would kind of make sense to have our industry in this area and maybe down here. Um, so our Teamsters probably, we want our Teamsters kind of along here would be would be kind of good. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do. So look, Teamsters, Teamsters office. 
I'm going to throw in. Now, we've got a full gap there, so I think, to make the best use of space, if I put Teamsters there and there to begin the process. All right, cool. Now, before I put in any, any industrial buildings, and the industrial buildings are the ones in under the industry tab, and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of that. Before I put any of those in, really important, really, really, really important, um, we're going to want to uh, issue the industrialization edict. This is going to dis decrease our construction costs of all industrial buildings by 50%. With a program that for industrialization. is huge. Plan far Runs enough for ahead two years. Money, but not so far ahead. Shush. Right. So, we're just half the cost of all the industry that we're going to put in, which is awesome source. Uh, another subsidy that I'm going to put in is the agricultural subsidy. It's going to cost me five grand, but it increases the efficiency of all agricultural buildings by 25%. Increases the upkeep of those buildings by 50%. Uh, decreases capitalists, increased communists. Hooray. Um, but you know what? Until these actually start producing, right? Until they get built, there's kind of no point issuing that. But I always forget, so I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, like, if, you, if you're perfect, then wait and do it a bit later. I'm going to do it now because I always forget. Now, there's one other... Uh, I think there's one other edict that I... Oh, yeah. Urban development. Now, this decreases the construction cost of all residential buildings by 50%. So, I'm going to want to do that as well. Am I going to do it now? Yeah, I'm going to do it now. As much as... Yeah, I'm going to do it now. What the hell? All right, sweet. So, well, we've sorted all of that stuff out. Let's do, let's do the industry stuff first, I think. Now, I've got a whole load of sugar. I've got a couple of tobacco. I've got a couple of cotton and we also want to do logs and logging is something that the game is telling us to do anyway so we'll do uh, we'll do we'll put some logging camps in as well let's have i suppose i should put my roads in first shouldn't i really yeah go on we'll put we'll put the roads in first have some infrastructure now i want to have a road that goes up up there and and kind of follows these roads that we've already kind of got so, so let's have a road that goes up there I'm going to want to have a road probably come in. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is a, this is always the tricky bit for me because you know what? If I bring that road straight down there and have that road going up there, oh, it won't quite go up there. So I'd actually want it there, wouldn't I? Yeah. All right, we'll have that road coming down there, and then now how am I going to hook up to this? It's a very very good question. And I've got to get to these logging camps from my town, which is going to be here. So I don't want them too far away. So, actually, does that hook up? That... Oh, that goes straight into there, which is kind of nice. Oh, I think we'll probably hook that up into there eventually. But for now, let's see. If I have, um, I have a road going maybe through there, so... Oh, it won't quite go past that. You know what? There. There, I guess. So, if we have a road that goes... Oh, see, I've got an, I've got to have another road going up here, and I want to lay all of these out before I start. So, I have a road going up there, which is then going to go across... Ah! Put it in the wrong darn place. Let's try that again. Demolish that bit. This setup, though, is, is really important. Well, it's a... It, well... It's really important for me, let's put it that way, because I'm very fussy about like, how I want things to look and stuff. So let's have that run around there like that for now. Okay, cool. So now we can get a couple of logging camps going. What do I want? I want uh, logging camps going in. Let's see. How about if we have one there? This is nice and dark green, plenty of trees. And we'll have one there and then maybe one there we the thing is I don't want to over log these areas so maybe I should have a maybe I should have a road coming across here and move this across a little bit yeah let's do that so let's put that one in there and we'll have a road just hooking up to that like that like that, like that. okay so we've got a couple of those um, what else do I need to do I also need to have a toy workshop right well I've done my industry thing so we're going to be bringing those logs to an industrial building. So if my town's here, I should have the industry for that over this side. So I'm 
just looking at this and thinking right, that road's probably going to go maybe so where would I want my industry for this I want as much room as possible for my town so I don't know I might put the industry over here for that so let's get industry and we'll have a toy workshop now I've got to buy the blueprint for this but it's only $900 so what the hell and then it only costs three and a half thousand well three thousand two fifty instead of six and a half thousand so this is where we're gonna start saving some money so I think I'm gonna put that one in there and I'm just gonna have I think one for now I'm kind of almost tempted to have two and uh, and put some more logging in it is a very very tempting proposition you know what I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go crazy I'm gonna have another toy workshop flip it around pop that in there and then I really want to follow these tracks in the road, but it, it's not really the most practical thing to do. Um, and this, I would love to keep these buildings, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna demolish them all. I'm gonna demolish the botanical gardens and the clinic and the grocery. Yep, yep, you're all going. We're gonna we're gonna start again from scratch. That's a bunkhouse. That'll have to be moved. An apartment over there. That'll have to be moved potentially. All right. So we want to set something up in here. Now I want to have enough room that I can put in uh, apartments. So I'm probably gonna have uh, a bunch of apartments down there so that people are closest to work. So you know what? I'm gonna start that off. Am I? You know what? Am I gonna use apartments or am I gonna use bunkhouses? Um, I'd really like to use apartments. Am I going to use apartments? You know what? I might. I might. Now, now, what are we saving on apartments? We're yeah. So they're they're 1,500 rather than 3,000. So it's actually not a bad idea, probably. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's put in one, two. Okay, I can put three, four, five. But, well, no, four. Because I'm probably going. I'm probably going to extend that road across there at some point. But that's okay. And then I'd want them going that way across there. So my support buildings, like the church and whatever, where are we? What do I want? I want um, public services. So church, we're going to want to leave three squares. So we'll have a church going in. Yeah. We'll have a church going in there. Uh, what else are we going to want? We're going to want a clinic. Now the clinic, I think I'm going to put next to the church there. Yeah, that's going to go there. And then what else do I need? Uh, I need a grocery. Now the grocery needs to be attached to a road. So I'm actually going to put the grocery there, I think. Yeah, grocery goes there. And then what else do I want? Uh, I could put it in a chapel. Now a fire station would be a very good idea. So we're going to go with a fire station. Now this has a an area of effect so we want this kind of in the center ideally if I put it there I can put two apartment blocks yeah let's pop that in there and then have a road uh, up to there there we go that works cool what else do I need to put in um, I need to put in some entertainment for our folks that would be a good thing because they again they need to walk to any entertainment uh, a botanical garden is very nice um, it's 4200 you know what let's put in a botanical garden now I could put my botanical garden say there uh, is that gonna work I'm just thinking about roads just that'll just work all right we'll put a botanical garden in there and then we'll have a tavern as well because taverns are good they're cheap um so i've got a, I got a couple of little gaps there can i fit that in there let's have a look oh no that's there so i've actually got a little bit of a gap just there haven't i all right let's put a tavern there tavern goes in there awesome sauce 
Now, um, this is obviously a hell of a lot of building work. Now, I could fast build this, but that's going to going to cost an absolute fortune so what I'm going to do I'm going to get uh, over here I'm going to get a couple of construction offices put in now where am I going to put these I think I'm going to put them probably over here so we'll have one there and maybe one there and then what I'm going to do that's a toy workshop uh, and then I'm going to quick build those and then they can help to get everything else built which would be awesome right now, we want to take advantage of the um, industrial edict that I uh, that I put in. So, we're going to put in a bunch of stuff. Oh, now, I have forgotten to put in uh, to put in some ranches. Now, I don't have to put ranches in, but I think I'm probably going to Yeah, I think I'm probably going to put in a couple of ranches. So, ranches. Now, if you put in cattle ranches, there's an upgrade that you can uh, get which will give a boost to uh, farms that are close by but it's a very very small radius and to be honest I don't think it's really worthwhile and I'm looking around here and thinking probably probably I'm just gonna put in a couple of cattle ranches just there and there and that'll be fine and that provide me with meat it also provide me with hides right let's start getting um, some industry in here so okay so industry what do I want industry wise so I've got I've got hides being produced so I want at least one uh, tannery so where am I gonna put the tannery well you know what why don't I just put it next to the the farm so that the moving the stuff is the shortest distance it's probably a good idea wouldn't you think so we'll throw one of those in and then rum distilleries okay I'm going to be producing a lot of sugar. The efficiencies on these, by the way, are going to be very high. So, how do I how do I want to do this? Um, hang on a second. If I put, if I have a rum distillery there, and then flip it around and have one there. So I think we'll start off with like. Four, four maybe. So I'm going to want some roads around this. So we'll have a road coming down there. We'll have a road coming down there. Um, I'm probably going to end up having a couple more, but we'll we'll start off with four and we'll see how we go. What else? What else are we producing that we can turn into stuff? We are producing. Uh, we're producing. Wood's going to be turned into toys. So I'm going to hold off on the lumber mill for now. Um, the cannery requires electricity, so I'm going to hold off on that. The cigar factory. I'm going to buy the blueprint, and we're going to put in a couple of cigar factories. Cigar factories, we'll use um, tobacco, and we're producing tobacco. We're going to have enough for like a couple of these. Um, the question is where I can fit them in. And of course, there's, there's no good place to put them in. Nothing ever fits, does it? Um, so I tell you what, I'm going to put one... One there. Uh, uh, you squeeze it. No, you won't quite squeeze in there. Oh man, that's right. You know what? I'm, I think I'm going to have to put the other one there. It's a little bit further away than I wanted it to be. You know what? I, I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it there. Yeah. I'm going to put it there. It leaves a few spaces, which is not necessarily a bad idea because you, you've got other buildings that you, you want to slip in occasionally. Anyway. Um, so we'll put that road going up there like that. That's fine. Right, what else do we want? So a couple of cigar factories. We want um, cigar factories, not shipyards, textile mills because we're producing cotton. So um, yeah, unlock the blueprint. And we want a couple of these going in. And I'm thinking we'll plop, probably plop them in down here. So, one, two. All right, sweet. Oh, we're down to 290,000. Can you believe it? All righty. Um, I'm going to leave these bunkhouses in for now. Now, that doesn't mean people are going to be wandering backwards and forwards a bit, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I might get, actually, I might get rid of, I might get rid of those ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of those. Let's get my 
get my demolition tool out, demolish, and one, two, three, four. All right, cool. So having done those, um, I've got to let all this stuff build before I can start doing upgrades and stuff. Um, I've done I've done the edicts, haven't I? Yeah, urban development I did, and the agricultural subsidies, and that's great. Wait till you see. Wait till you see the the efficiencies of all of these. It's gonna be epic. What else do I want? Um, oh, now one thing I want right at the beginning is a couple of libraries. Now, why do I want libraries? Well, libraries generate research points. And I want those generating ASAP. So let's get, um, these are under, uh, it's not public services, education. Education and media, here we go. So libraries. Um, I want at least a couple of libraries. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a library. Yeah, I'm gonna put a library. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put both my libraries there. And I'm probably going to have another couple going on over here. Now, these I'm going to quick build because I don't want to wait and I want to start generating research points straight away. Right, I'm, whoops. It's, I'm going to have a road going up the side of the presidential palace to there and hooking it to there. I'll also have a road going up there and across there like that. Okay, anything else that I want to do? No, I think... I think that's it. Right, crank it up. Because it's just a case of getting stuff built now. Right, people are already in there, which is good. Now, if we go to research, research, then um, we need to select a research item. And I think the first thing we're going to want, I, I would really like to get building permit. But, you know, I'm going to save the points because I'm not quite sure what I want to go with first. Oh, I tell you what I do want. I do want Employee of the Month. Employee of the Month is a big one because it uh, employees of mines and industrial buildings, which we're putting a lot in of, uh, work double shifts. And that makes a huge difference. The reason that makes such a big difference is they spend so much time walking backwards and forwards to get to work and whatever that once they get there, you want them to stay there for a long time. And the, the double shift means that they stay there for double the amount of time. And so the, the ratio of walking to working goes up substantially. And you'll find that your industrial buildings will produce a hell of a lot more with, uh, with that edict running. So I just need to remember to actually um, get it going once I've researched it. Where's my, where's my research? Here's my research. Look, we need 375. It won't take long. These will, these will start generating. Yeah, they're already cranking it out. Now, I could increase the um, the efficiency of these. And you know what I'm going to? I'm going to hold down the control key, click on that. Uh, it costs me more, but it increases the efficiency. And it's all about the efficiency. Oh, now, I can also do an upgrade academic department. And that increases the efficiency by another 25%. So I'm going to control click that. That will do both of these buildings. So they should both now be 150%. Awesome. The Axis want me to invite them to an embassy. Okay. I'm going to need, um, for this particular era, a couple of embassies. So what do I want? I want, this is government buildings, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I'll unlock the blueprint. And where am I going to put my embassies? I can have one there. Uh, they, don't, they don't quite fit in there particularly nicely. Uh, you know what I could do? I could put them behind here, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So let's have two embassies going in. Uh, am I going to build the second one yet? Y yeah, why not? Why not? Go for it. And am I going to have a road going down there? Yeah, I probably am. Can I go straight? No, I can't. Yeah, we'll just put a road down there. They don't need a road, but I want a road. So uh, let's do... Right, the logging camps. Let's start getting stuff stuff done. So these logging camps, are they getting built yet? No. Now, I could ship them up to high priority, but they cost so little that I'm just going to quick build those. That gets that task done. So then I need to build the toy workshop. Okay, well, let's go over here and build one of the... Uh... Remember the story of the man who built oh, his produce house fish. the of sand, Presidente? Produce 3,000 fish. 
Uh, it'll give me some religious standing, so you know what? I'm going to accept that, and we'll get some we'll get some fish going on. So that's food and resources. Fish, 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 fish. Fisherman's Wharf. And we got some fish going on over here. So where can I put this? Um, let's have a fisherman's wharf on that side. Can I get one over here? Oh, I can actually. Well, let's have a fisherman's wharf over there as well. Um, I don't know about that. You know what, maybe there. Mind you. Uh, now, nah, you know what, I might just put them together over here. Ta! I really can't make my mind up. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna put it over there. Yeah, I'm gonna regret it, but I'll put it over there. Now those, I'm gonna quick build. Quick build, quick build, and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get some roadage put in. So let's have a road. Let's extend that out a little bit. And I think I want that going down. Yeah, there we go. Run that down into there. That's good. And then we want... Oh, that's already connected. So that's good. All right, sweet. Right, I've spent like half the money. Good grief. But hopefully we should start producing some fish. Now, there is one other thing that I want to do. We've got a ship just approaching. And if we look in here, what do we got? Oh, we've got a bunch of cotton to be sold. Great, that'll bring us in some money. No, 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 we don't want to sell cotton. We want our cotton turned into textiles, right? So this is something you really want to do. You want to go to trade, go to goods and prices, and you want to turn off trading the stuff that you're going to turn into, like, something better. So if we go down the list, um, all of these we're going to sell. Cocoa, we're going to sell at the moment. Later on, we'll turn this off because we're going to turn that into chocolate. Uh, coconuts and coffee, corn is fine. Cotton, we don't want to sell cotton. Uh, fish we can export, that's fine for now. Um, hides we don't want to do because we're going to turn them into leather. Uh, logs we don't want to sell because we're going to turn those into um, either toys or planks or whatever. Uh, meat's fine for the moment. And yeah, got oil, pineapple we can sell, and planks. Rubber we can sell, rum we can sell. Sugar we don't want to sell. Tobacco we don't want to sell. Alright, cool. I think that does us for now. Alright, cool. So, now we can keep going. Hooray! What have I forgotten? Oh yeah! One thing that I definitely want to put in is a pirate cove. Now, pirate cove is in raids and military, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Pirate cove. Why do I want a pirate cove? Well, the pirate cove is going to bring me in educated people. Um, so it is, it's pretty important. I can't, I am, oh, you know what? I can squeeze it in just there. Well, that's kind of tempting. Mind you, yeah, um, yeah actually, yeah. Uh, where, where, where you go? That's the closest I can get it. Right, that's where it's going. And we'll pop in a little road so people can get there. Now, hang on, can I run a road? Ah, oh, yes, I can, right. Right, let's do that then. Cool. Because people still have to... This is still a workplace. People still have to walk to work to get there. Alrighty. Are you working? Are you... Can you actually bring... Sh oh, there, I think that's a... Yeah, that's a fishing boat, isn't it? Yes. Fishing boat going out. Good. Are you going to start to bring in fish? maybe. Right, now, if we, um, if we look at the upgrades for this, we could do fishing dredge. In addition to fish, the workers harvest um, a quarter of a unit of shellfish as well. Well, there's no reason we shouldn't do that. That's just bonus. So I'm going to control click on that. If you hold down the control, it'll tell you how much you're going to spend. So we'll upgrade that. That's good. Oh, look at this. Okay, pause, because this is the good stuff. Oh, yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the jobs in uh, in this one so I don't want anybody working in this one and the same in this one I don't want anybody working there because they're the efficiency is like 59 and 71 it's not good enough right um, everywhere else we do want people working there I am going to crank the um, well first of all let's change the work mode now if we look at the efficiency before I do this right at the moment 
we get we get a 24 uh, well 28 percent bonus <clears throat> from the edict the agricultural subsidies which is great so but without that we would be running at like a hundred percent which is like okay i suppose but that's going to degrade over time remember the um the the fertility will keep going down so what are we going to do well <clears throat> we are going to change this to multiculture i'm going to control click so that everything changes to multiculture right so now let's have a look at the efficiency oh my lord we get minus 40 but we get plus 80 so our efficiency has now gone up to 154 percent well that's pretty darn good we're we going to leave it at that no we're not because we're going to bump up the budget and again i'm going to control click the budget so this is up in the budget for all of the plantations so what are we up to now efficiency 179 percent okay that's not too bad and then we've got cocoa 169 176 164 164 140 on the end but that's okay and then 170 148 181 192 174 right and is that as good as it's going to get no it's not i'm going to ignore these first two i'm going to go over here and i'm going to look at the upgrades um this decreases the amount of job positions by one but increases the efficiency by 20. I actually want the jobs. I'm going to leave that. Um, it might be slightly better to have the extra 20% than the extra job, but I think I'm going to leave it. Losing jobs tends to be bad. So, Coco, what's the upgrade on Coco? Uh, we can't do one at the moment, that's fine. And then coffee. No, we can't do one on coffee at the moment, so that's fine. Um, let's go to the next row. So, pineapple. Uh, this increases the efficiency on nearby pineapple plantations. Doesn't benefit us because we're, we're too far away. Uh, corn, now corn we do want to do. This increases the efficiency by 1% every month until it reaches 20%. So we definitely want that. So control click on that. And banana. This increases the job quality by 10. Um, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, do those and then we're back to pineapple let's go down now to the next row we've got cotton cotton mechanization increases the upkeep by five increases job quality by 15 that's worth doing so we'll do that one again control clicking and that one we can't do in this era and tobacco well, yeah we can't do that one in this era either did i do did i do rubber i did do rubber didn't i oh no, no i didn't do it. yeah because yeah that's fine all right, so our corn is going to go up by like another 20%. So that's going to be up at like over 200%, which is pretty darn awesome. Sweet. So we're going to be producing massive amounts of crops, and then we're going to be processing that in our uh, factories and whatever, which is going to be awesome. Right, let's see. Uh, how many people have we got? We've got 28 vacant homes. We've got 38 vacant fam uh, homeless families. So we are going to need more housing for them. Let's put in more housing while we've still got the cheap edict. Uh, residential and we'll put in apartments so we'll start oh, I didn't hold down the shifty bonehead so we'll put that one there that one there yeah just a couple for now yeah yeah just a couple for now that's fine are we producing any fish did that just fish just get picked up I don't know let's have a over this one we've got one guy there he is oh yeah there he is and he's going to bring that back. I am allowing local consumption, but we should... We should. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're producing fish. Best Hooray! Communist demand. Best. Produce 3,000 corn. Yes, we'll definitely do that one. Right, we need to invite the access to the embassy once that gets built. So it's going to cost me 2,500. So I'm probably going to wait for that. Now, one other upgrade that I definitely want to do is at the Teamsters office. We want the second shift. This will add six uh, job positions. And we only have six jobs, so it doubles the amount of Teamsters, which is huge. So let's control click on that. Right, we've got second shift going. So loads of jobs. How are we doing employment wise? We have got 119 vacant jobs. Awesome. Now each shop, each ship that comes in is gonna bring in some people. So look, the, the last ship that came in brought in seven people. Cool. Now. Look at the stuff we've got to ship out. Um, tobacco, we're not going to ship out. Sugar, no. Logs, no. Cotton, no. So all of that stuff is going to get stored in here at the moment. And we're not bringing any money in. We need to start turning it into, into goods. 
We have now got a textile mill. Is there an upgrade we can do? That adds two job positions. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Oh, the other textile mill is getting done. Ha ha! The prices of all raw goods are increased by 15%. The prices of all processed goods are decreased by 10%. Okay, How this is strange. some of the new stuff. Been a shift in the global markets. Have a now customs the office. Now, customs office. This is a big thing. Customs office is something that we definitely want. Why do I want a customs office? Well, I'll show you. Where's customs office? There's customs office. I'm. This is worth paying for. So I'm going to buy that. Customs office. Where am I going to put it? Um, I'm going to put it with my other... Um, like, office buildings. So I'm probably going to put it over here. I need to. I'm going to need to hook that road up if I do this. Um, I'm almost tempted to put it over here somewhere, just for just for kind of convenience. It won't go. It would go there. Ah oh, man, but positioning buildings is like the the bane of my life because I know I always want I always want to second guess myself about where to put stuff. Uh, I'm going to put it there. Uh, there it goes, it's in now, it's done. Right, I will have a road coming down like that. There we go. Alright, that I'm going to quick build. Go. Concerned about foreign trade putting you out of a job? Fear not! The customs office is Whoa. here to protect you by manipul- Monitoring international <laughs> trade. Alright, now, uh, at the customs office, we can set up uh, I've got now. I've got to research it, but this is what I want: special tax on base efficiency. One percent of export revenues are transferred to your Swiss bank account. That is going to be huge. So I need to. Uh, I need to research the customs office. So if I go to research, and look at this. I've already got fifteen hundred points stored up. Where is the trade institute? Um. I do want the building permit as well. This increases the, the construction cost of all buildings by 20%, but 2% of the base construction cost is transferred to your Swiss bank account. It's awesome. And I'm going to do that at some point. Hang on. When, um, I want to research Customs House. Where the hell is Customs House? Oh, uh, I've done Employee of the Month, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Where's Customs House? Customs House should be in here somewhere. It's not, it's not in modern times. Where the hell is... Can't find it. Well, we've produced a thousand toys, hooray! And we get a lumber mill, which is nice. And we get a new a new main quest. Have a trade institute, activate uh, work mode study markets, and revenue from exports. We need 50,000. Good grief. Have a customer's office. We get 2,000, and we'll now get pull the strings from the broker. Oh, man. You know what? It's been a huge amount of setting up, but... Boy, we are in a good position now. Right, the other thing I need to do is go to trade, sort this, and start setting up some trade routes to get the, the bonus from it. So, um, tobacco we're not going to be selling. Meat. Now, we can sell meat from our farms. So, we'll do that one. Sign that contract. How, now, the question is, how much do I want to do? Um, let's do... Let's do 17,400. Do I want to do that one? Uh, and that is exporting. Yes, it is. Export meat. We'll do the 17,400. We'll sign that one. Now, I need to buy another trade license for 1,000. And I'm going to buy another one as well. Right, what other trade rates can I get? Sugar. Bananas I can sell. Yep, so we'll do bananas. We'll crank it up to the 21,000 level. We'll sign that. What else can we do? Cotton? No. Coffee? Yes, we can do that one. So, we'll sign that. Now, those are the best ones at the moment. So, right, we'll just let that, we'll let that go. Cool. Right, get stuff built. We need our factories to start producing so that we can actually sell some stuff. But look, toys, we can sell some toys, some cloth. Look at this, expected revenue, 36,000. It won't have been 36,000 because we're not selling everything, but 
But we are starting to bring some stuff in now. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Now, obviously, I could spend some cash and quick build these. But stuff is getting built pretty quickly. So I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, we do need to get these ranches going. Oh, now. You know what? Forfeit. I'm gonna, that one I'm going to build. And the reason is because these... These ranches, we need to set these to pasture prohibition because these these ranches decrease the fertility of the soil around them. So we want to switch, oh, control click that to pasture pro prohibition. Hooray. And then uh, we're going to do, there's no point doing this manure fertilizer because you can see the range, it doesn't even reach these buildings. So there's no point doing that. Um, y you might find that you could put one in somewhere to get... But it's only like a 10% bonus. It, it really isn't a huge thing. But we're going to be starting to produce uh, meat that we'll export and hides that we're going to turn into uh, leather at the tannery. Once it is a the great day tannery for gets going. Oh, and we've already Even done the produced corn. Celebrate. I'm going to take some standing with the communists because I want to get the rating up. Because we don't want to get deposed. That would be a very bad thing. Uh, so, our freight, we've got 25,000 from a freighter. And then... Four and a half thousand. What have we got in here? Oh, that's the fisherman's wharf, isn't it? Cool. So, what are we doing? Oh, we've just had another 30,000 coming in. Awesome. What have we got over here? Oh, I've got stuff in here as well. Alright, sweet. Um, so, you know what? I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Uh... That is uh, going to be a pretty strong economy. Once the once all of these industrial buildings get... That we are definitely winning the war. Yeah, alright, go on. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. Hooray. Oh, I need to invite, invite access to the... Oh, the embassy hasn't got built yet. I'm really tempted to quick build that. But I, I know I will control myself. Look at the money going up. Awesome. Oh, and now we've got all three docks going. Beautiful. And of course, every ship that comes in is bringing in people. So... Our population is going up very quickly. We've still got 145 um, vacant jobs, but those are very gonna, very quickly going to get filled. I mean, like three ships are bringing in almost 30 people a time. So, yeah, it's all going to happen. Right. Oh, I, the Pirate Cove is getting built. Hooray. You know what? I've got to leave it there because this episode's getting really long. But I am really, really happy with my initial setup. Now we're gonna be able to plow through this because we're gonna be generating loads of cash. If you wanna see just how much cash we're gonna be generating, you'll have to come back for the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're happy I'm playing Tropico 6. I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching, peace out.